What's up? MJ Lennon here from Lead FPA Belfast, and today we are going to be talking negatives. Now, I'm going to use chin ups to show you. Now, depending on your client, you may want to add weight to this. Um, you know, you, you may want to use it on a bench press. Whatever it is, I'm going to show you the principle today. We're not covering the actual execution of the exercise. I just want to show you the variable so that you understand it. And if you're going to use it in your final practical exam, you know exactly what to do. Okay, so uh, four chin ups. Basically, we're only doing the lowering, the lowering phase of the movement, okay? So there's no concentric pull. We start at the top portion of the movement and we lower ourselves under control. Much like if we were gonna do it, let's say, on a bench press, you must use a spotter, so you lower the bar under control once it reaches the client's chest. Both you and the client will bring it off and re-rack the bar, okay? So that's a true negative. So I'm gonna show you now, let's say you're gonna do it on chin-ups. We start at the very top portion of the movement, let's see here, so I'm going to start here, nice control, and then I'm going to lower, and that's our true negative, okay, so there's no pull, again, depending on the client, you may want to add some weight to that, if they're uh, pretty advanced, or if they're just starting off new, you will need to support the client through that, and throughout every other exercise, peace out.